one thing y'all really need to know y'all need to stay up off of social media. I'm gonna let you know right now, that ain't nothing but a toxic ass newspaper. I said it again, social media ain't nothing but a toxic ass newspaper. Just like back in the days, you know what I mean? Back in the days, it was a good ass newspaper. You know, back in the days before social media ever even came. Before social media ever even came, you know, you had the little newspapers you can go get. You had the TV guy, the little cartoons and all that. You probably still got them, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, people don't read no more. People don't read shit. All they want to do is get on social media. They want to post stuff. You see a fight, instead of calling the police, you want to post it. You see somebody getting bullied, you, instead of calling somebody, instead of, you know, helping somebody, you want to post it, you want to record it. And at the end of the day, that's all it is. Just a toxic thing to do. And what I mean, a toxic thing to do, people don't pay attention to their own life no more because they glued to the damn phone or the damn computer after they're looking at social media. And then some people, they just get so caught up in it, they really think that social media is their life. You can tell social media their life because they're, they're the type of people that get on Facebook or now they're about to delete somebody. Who cares if you're about to delete them? Let me tell you what Facebook is. Facebook ain't nothing but sometimes it's a blessing, but it's a curse at the same time. You can see people that you ain't seen in a while. You can check on people that you ain't checked on in a while. But as soon as you about to own a business, you about to own a business, whatever you doing, as soon as you log on social media, you can see somebody doing that exact same business. And as soon as you see them doing that, they're going to be doing it better than you. They're going to be having more chances than you. They're going to have more things going on. And you're going to get discouraged like, this is what it takes? Oh, man, they got that going on. I need. I'm, I might be in the wrong lead it do stuff like that and when you lonely somebody probably you know post you looking at relationships and stuff like that and i ain't saying that it's toxic but i'm saying that some people mind seem to travel and when they travel they're gonna think about they self people will get on social media and compare they self to the internet i'm gonna tell you just like this jack everybody that take pictures on social media it ain't even real that's their best picture they ain't how they looking on a tuesday evening frying chicken at 6 45 they ain't how they looking waking up in the morning getting out the bed looking in the mirror yawning breath smell like shit they ain't looking like that at the end of the day, they put their best picture on them. And at the end of the day, they sometimes they put their best outfit. Or you see them like posing. Or you see them like working. Ain't nobody taking pictures of their ass working. They doing it because they doing it for social media. They're just doing stuff for attention. People don't don't buy into all the hype to ruin your life. Don't buy into what other people do compared to your life. Because at the end of the day, your life is your life is your journey is your path. A lot of people, the first thing they do when they wake up in the morning, they look at their damn phone to see what happened on Facebook. Or check in their inbox. Or check in TikTok or jumping on YouTube. You know what I mean? They ain't doing nothing for themselves. I understand, like some people, they'll get up on them. Some people, they'll get up on the internet want to watch a sermon or want to hear the word of God or something. Ain't no wrong with looking for something positive. But nine times out of ten, people looking for some negative shit or looking for something funny. And nine times out of ten, when it's something funny, it's about something that didn't happen. A natural disaster. It's just like the, when they're talking about the submarine and dropped it, hit the top and what, went down there to see the Titanic and never came back. People making memes about that. People making jokes about that. People making jokes about people that have died and they think the shit is funny. Life feels real short and you don't know when your number's called. So stop making fun of people because social media is so toxic people are unaware people don't pay attention to social media like they should i remember when social media started when social media started man people was looking for their family their friends and people that they ain't seen in a while people up there you know they're going like you know websites and trying you know people selling cars or people doing this and doing that they're just doing you know the regular stuff hush girl a little pooch up there acting crazy but at the end of the day, people, they don't have a life no more because they glued to TikTok, social media, and everything that's on the internet. If the internet dropped right now and everybody phone and everywhere, people will lose their minds because people are thriving and living off the internet. The internet ain't nothing but a vampire. The internet ain't nothing but another antichrist telling people what to do. As soon as you get on the internet, you see stuff, you compare yourself. You compare yourself and you want to do it or you want to do something like that or whatever they doing, you listening to it. So when you listen to it, you're receiving it and when you're receiving it, it's going to come out your mouth because that's what's in your brain and that's what's on your mind and that's what's in your heart because that's what you like and some people like toxic stuff they're addicted to toxic stuff they'll wake up and look at it and what they're gonna do they're gonna spread it let me send this to my partner and make them laugh let me send this let me send this oh you wrong for that but you still laughing but the people that's in that situation it's not funny to them social media is real toxic i don't care if it's facebook tiktok shit clock whatever it is but at the end of the day if it's on a website you see another asshole up there doing some dumb shit it's called social media and at the end of the day social media ain't nothing but a toxic newspaper it all is all it is if you can't take so social media in a mature manner you don't really need to be on there if you got to do all this dumb shit you got to go out there and shake your ass for attention or you know what i mean just go up there you know take your shirt off like ll cool j what i don't care what you do but at the end of the day 
be mindful that people are watching. Be mindful that this is a toxic world. Somebody watching you, what you're doing right now. Whatever you're doing right now, somebody probably want to be like you. And I'm just saying, though, at the end of the day, it ain't nothing but a toxic ass newspaper. Pay attention to what you're doing. When you get up in the morning, what you do? Look on the phone. It might not be you, it might be somebody else. You might be out on a date. What's your person, what's your partner over there doing? They're going to look at social media. I just seen that somebody hit me in my inbox. Don't worry about the inbox right now. Social media, this internet, then attracted people and got them. Walking away from real life, looking at everything digital, everything on computers, everything turning into a computer, everything turning into a computer. And everybody loving it until somebody make a computer to replace your ass on a job. 